Russell. By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pajeda, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. Here's a man who needs no introduction, the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion and one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. Trying to hold up his end of the bargain and lead the way he came in as the champion of the world. He's an absolute star. John, that belt defines him. That belt is who he is now. He recognized that the moment he became the champion, his life changed. He loves it. He loves being the best in the world. He loves ruling atop this very difficult division and he intends to keep it that way for a very long time. He did say to us in the fighter meeting on the record, this may be his most difficult title defense to date. As such, he's put in all the right work. We'll see if he can remain the hunted here at 205 pounds. Well, no air conditioning, no problem. We are ready to go with more live action from Giunesi Arena here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Our tale of the day for this light heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. We find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alex Poetai Perea! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC light heavyweight champion of the world, Sugar! Rashad Evans! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Dateline, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This place is total chaos when it comes to mixed martial arts, and we expect a lot of volume in this arena tonight. It's crazy to take in this environment. The crowd is all crazy. The fighters are drawing inspiration from them. And it's a big moment. Every Brazilian fighter that hits the court. They are propelled by these fans. All right, so perhaps a harbinger of things to come as the kickboxer stays upright, successfully defends the first takedown attempt by the rest. Defending the first takedown, but he's got more coming in his direction. He's got to do exactly what he did. He needs to press pause, repeat, pause, repeat, making sure that he does the same exact thing every single time that allows for him to stay upright. Big inside kick. Evans going for the takedown here, nothing doing there. Missed on the right hand. Oh, 
has a three double leg. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Evans. Nice strike lands from the bottom fight. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Big ground and pound. Nice shots landing from the top position. Strike lands from the top. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Side control. 45 seconds to go here in round one. shot from the top position. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. <laughs> 20 seconds now remain in the round. 15 seconds. Great job finding his shots from the top position. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Oh, that horn sound means we have reached the end of round one. All right, heading back to the corner now after that round. And Evans' is corner now, we'll take a look at that lip. The cut man is in, and you gotta tighten that up. It's really starting to bleed now. We'll see if uh, it rears its ugly head as this fight continues. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He fell in the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Rips the body there. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Lands a beautiful leg kick.
Great take down the fence right now by the champ. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Nice. Nicely done. Nice job on defense to block that punch, champ. Doing a great job fighting behind the reach and dictating where the fight takes place. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. There's a kick. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. Big double leg level change. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take it on very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. They work very hard to improve his stand-up skills, and it's showing right now. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. The fighters separate. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Now he gets a more dominant position with the other one. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive. Oh, big knee! Able to block that one. Well, no denying that he blocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. 90 seconds now in round two. Evans gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes for the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. Great transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Pereira. Now into his mouth. Change of the position. Pereira is looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. All right, close guard now. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, right into mouth. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. Two rounds in the books. So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. 
but the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Round three of a possible five. Soon. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial good. arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by today. Making all these shots count. Nicely done. Get the ball here. This is a terrible position. He's got him softened up here. Oh, great ground strike there. And now, blood is a factor. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. These ground strikes are starting to add up. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Evans. Now he's going full mount. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. But eight is in half guard. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Let's go, let's get out of that He's got to start throwing now. Well, that swelling, folks, is not from sodium. That is from a serious ground and pound attack from his opponent. All these actions, though, these big actions, got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Evans. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by Evans. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. All right, so right there ground. it is again. He's been right very ground. efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch, starting to land from the top position. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. But eight, his eye is closing up. He's gotta be careful here. 90 seconds to go. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Evans. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Well, the cut man's getting excited, but nobody else is. That cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Under a minute to go. Lands with the ground and pound here. Another ground and pound strike lands. Nice positional control here.
seconds of round three. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready? You ready? Let's go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go the next Checks the leg kick. Takedown defense holds up. Lands a switch knee. Gets tagged again on the inside. Oh, nice takedown defense. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. So he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor, champ. The swelling starting to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt, he got him swollen a little bit, and now it's starting to pay dividends. to go. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, we told you we'd keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now, and he continues to target that area wisely. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get this victory. Mm, nice. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Evans. Great ground and pound by this man. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the crowd, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. Misses with the right hand. Looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh! Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop it. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the 
Boy's gonna have to deal with this cut, and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. All right, quick pause in the action here. Hopefully this won't be the end of the fight, but some serious swelling around that eye, and I'm not sure the extent to which his vision has been compromised. I don't know how much he can see right now. He seems to be trying to find the opponent, but his spirit isn't broken. I think they're gonna stop this fight. I stand corrected. Doctor's gonna allow them to continue, but he's gonna have to go for it, I would think. Yeah, he will, he's got to make some adjustments. And also, he's gonna have to lay it all out on the line. He cannot stay back and get picked apart as he has to this point. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. He's taking a lot of body shots this round. Straight right lanes. 30 seconds to go now. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. 20 seconds left. But Ada's eye is really not looking good right now, Daniel. Starting to swell shut, and that is going to compromise his vision as this fight continues. for 20 minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cottonman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs the strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. Oh, nice straight punch there by Padena. Hurt really bad. Oh! Big left hand lands upstairs. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Oh, and he gets the single leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Oh, that cut is getting worse with every passing ground strike as he lands again. Strike there now. Evans is right back to the full mount here. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound, Mark Coleman, as he lands again. Coley's somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. and strikes in bunches tonight. His opponent is wearing it. And when you see swelling like that, maybe a facial fracture. Well, it seems as though something's hurt bad here. 
The last time I saw somebody get this one, I remember watching Ioane on Jacek's head. Oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. in half guard. Beautiful transition. Good job there by the champion. Evans is back in full mount. 90 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Nice job at least staying upright on that. Now some separation from his push position. Evans is doing a nice job there raising the guard to protect the eye with that blow. Oh! He's in a lot of trouble now. Oh my goodness! Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Lands a nice straight. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Nice punch there. All right, so at this point, the ringside position would be well within his right to stop the fight as the referee calls for him once again. We get it. Toughness on full display, but this damage is too much. You gotta stop the fight. Well, this is a good sign, the doctor talking to the referee, and the fight will continue, at least for now. Yeah, this is the decision. I mean, swelling can be superficial. Right. It seems like he wants to compete. Let's go. All right, so some pretty significant adversity here, but the fight is going to continue. The doctor has left, and the ref gets us back underway. Gets us right back underway, and it doesn't seem like there was too much thought into it. It looked like they were going to let him fight, and that's exactly what they did, and I could not be happy. Oh, no! What a... Close fight, man. This is crazy. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion. World Sugar Rashad Evans. All right, so a nice retention of the title tonight. Our UFC light heavyweight champion gets it done in a big way here. We hear it over and over again in regards to this guy. He is very good. He is a very big, strong 205 pound fighter and a guy that is going to take a massive effort to try to take the belt away from him.